every Christmas, my Italian friends give me a panettone. And a panettone is an Italian sweetbread. There's usually a few leftovers, just like I have here today. So this is how I came up with this delicious strawberry and panettone pan tart. It works a treat so no bread is wasted. Now if you can't find panettone you can use brioche bread or any leftover bread for that matter. I like to use the panettone because it has a slight sweetness to it. Now before we get on to the panettone let's get on to the strawberry. So I'm going to be using this Ingenio set which works a treat because it not only has the perfect size pan to fit my panettone, it also has a detachable handle which is going to be really handy when I want to flip the the tart over. So we need to make a caramel. I'm going to place the pan on the heat. Just turn this to a medium heat. Just turn that down slightly. And we're making a dry caramel. So we're going to add caster sugar to our pan. Just give that a shake. And when you're making caramel, you don't want to fiddle around with it too much. You just want it to slowly melt so it's going to liquefy, go quite clear, and then it'll turn that lovely golden colour. So keep an eye on it. While that's happening, our strawberries, we need to hull our strawberries. Two punnets of strawberries, so around 500 grams. And I'll just open these and take the tops off. And we're going to cook these whole, so essentially they're going to go into the pan like this. So I'll just continue doing this and, of course, keeping an eye on my caramel so it doesn't burn. Now the sugar has completely dissolved and you can see we've got a lovely golden colour. So this is when I take it off the heat. This is super hot, so you really need to be careful with caramel. I'm going to add some flavour to it now, so some lemon zest straight in to our caramel. And when that lemon zest hits that caramel, you can smell it straight away because it's so hot. Okay. And vanilla bean. Just grab a small knife and we'll take one of these vanilla beans out and we'll scrape all the seeds from the pod. And in it goes. And we'll give it one last twirl just to combine everything and separate those seeds. You can see how much that caramel has changed even after I've taken it off the heat. That's why I like to take it off when it just starts to go blonde. Now I'm just twirling that caramel just so it goes along the rim of the pan just to seal it off. And this is almost going to act as the glue for our strawberries. So starting from the outside, we're going to place our strawberries in and just go all the way around the pan until we've completely covered the surface. Okay, so I'm just squeezing in the last strawberries. This is enough strawberries for a 22 centimetre pan. Now for our panettone, you'll see that this is the base of the panettone and I want to put that on top of the strawberries because it's got the most colour. I still want to butter both sides, so some softened butter onto the panettone. And we'll flip it over and really be generous with it. Okay, there's one, and we'll flip the other side. Great. And now we're going to place them on top of our strawberries, cut side up. Perfectly fitting. Squish that down. So essentially, this is like a tartan tam, but instead of using puff pastry, we're going to be using the panettone. This goes into the oven for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees. We're just looking for a really crusty top and those strawberries will break down and become extra saucy and it's gonna be so yummy. The panettone pan tart has come out of the oven and I've just allowed it to cool for about five minutes. So now we can take 
the detachable handle off and flip it. This is where I love a pan like this because now it's so easy to flip because all we have to do is pop a plate on top. It will still be warm, so use a tea towel and then confidently flip, just like you would do for a tart tatin. Just pop that there. And then we'll just take that off. Wow, look at that. How beautiful is that? It really does look like a tartata. And you can see that base of the panettone is all glistening. To finish this off, let's add icing sugar over the top so it glistens even more. Finally, some sprigs of mint over the top. We'll just let them fall. I like the little centre ones, the small ones. There you go, my panettone strawberry pan tart. So easy to do. Like I said, if you don't have panettone, you could use brioche, even leftover croissants. If there's ever any leftover croissants, you could use them for your base.